JFT just fair and direct. Good morning everyone and welcome to JFD's daily market review for July the 20th. I am Harald Ambospissuros, head of research here at JFD and I will talk about yesterday's main market movers, what's my opinion moving ahead, what are today's important events and how they could affect the markets. But, be, but before we start, let's read our disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds to read uh, the rest, and then we will jump into our analysis. Okay, the US dollar continued trading north against uh, most of the other major currencies on Monday and during the Asian session Tuesday. It underperformed only versus the yen and the Swiss franc, while it gained the most against uh, the New Zealand dollar, the Canadian dollar and the Australian dollar. The strengthening of the safe harpers uh, yen, franc and greenback combined with the weakening of the risk linked to the Kiwi and Luni suggests that investors' appetite continue to deteriorate. Indeed, looking at the performance in the equity world, we see that um, all major global indices were a sea of red, with uh, the European indices falling the most. Actually, the average tumble in Europe was 2.65%, while, uh, while later in the US we saw Wall Street uh, indices falling on average 1.58%. Appetite remained weak during the Asian session today as well. With no clear catalyst to pinpoint for causing the, the, uh, this turmoil, maybe this was the result of uh, an overstretched uh, market or maybe this happened due to increasing concerns uh, that uh, the fast spreading Delta variant of the coronavirus will hamper the, the global economic recovery. Maybe it's both. The question coming on our mind uh, now is with fears over uh, further spreading of the virus uh, increasing, uh, did expectations over monetary policy change? In other words, have investors started pushing back their hike bets due to those virus fears? It seems that market participants' views on monetary policy, at least with regards to the Fed, has not changed much. Looking at the yields of the 30-day Fed fund futures, we see that uh, investors still anticipate the first, the first uh, rate increase to be delivered uh, during the first quarter of, um, of 2023. Now, as for our view, Another potential economic uh, slowdown due to the virus, now combined with surging inflation, may be a big headache for policymakers. On the one hand, it will be difficult to keep planning hikes in case the economy is hurt again, while on the other one, you cannot ignore inflation if it continues to skyrocket well above your objective. For now, a cocktail of virus concerns and expectations of rate hikes in early 2023 may keep investors' morale uh, dented. In that respect, one of the currency pairs that could feel the repercussions of uh, those concerns and bets uh, the most is, uh, is uh, Aussie USD. Aussie tends to weaken and the dollar to strengthen when market sentiment deteriorates. What's more, monetary policy divergence could also add uh, weight on uh, this exchange rate. Remember that uh, the RBA stayed in its uh, dovish dress with uh, policymakers saying that interest rates in Australia are likely to stay at present levels at least until 2024, at a time when the Fed has already signaled two hikes in 2023 and started discussing when to start scaling back its quantitative easing purchases. Now, as for today's events, and during the Asian session, we already got the minutes from the latest RBA monetary policy meeting, and as we expected, they passed uh, unnoticed. They just confirmed the officials' uh, dovish stance and the view that interest rates are likely to stay untouched until 2024. This, combined with lockdowns in Australia being extended, could keep the Aussie underselling pressure. The rest of the day appears to be light, with the, only with the only releases worth mentioning being the U.S. housing starts and building permits for June, as well as the American Petroleum Institute report on crude oil inventories for last week. 
both the housing starts and building permits are expected to have increased somewhat while as it is always the case no forecast is available for the api number as for tomorrow during the asian session or during the asian session wednesday we have australia's pre preliminary retail sales which are forecast to have slid 0.5 percent month over month after increasing 0.4 percent so that's it uh, from me thank you very much for watching and listening for those who are interested in learning about the main events of the week much earlier you can subscribe to the weekly market outlook webinar which i'm holding every monday at 7 o'clock a.m gmt you can find the link in the description below so goodbye have a great day and i'm looking forward to seeing you here again tomorrow JFT, just fair and direct.